hey everyone for this video i thought i could show you how i make paintings on procreate pocket using quick shape tool and for this painting i made almost all of the elements on the quick shape tool so i thought that this is perfect to use as an example i don't use any of these messy brush strokes in the beginning that's just kind of like my idea creation mode and after the idea is in my head, I can just go and start creating the shapes that I need. And I create these kind of graphic quick shapes with a brush that is round, it has a lot of streamline to it, but it doesn't have any size variety nor any opacity variety. And it's important to note that it also has no stroke taper at the beginning or end stage of a brush stroke. And this is very important to create those crisp and clean shapes that look like vector graphics because those are very easy to fill and you don't have any kind of like messy artifacts in between and after the shapes are done I just go to the layer menu and press the alpha lock so after the alpha lock is done like for example these trees on the hills I just create one round shape then I hold the brush still to initiate the quick shape mode and after the oval is the shape that I want it to be, I just fill it with the same color. I lock the layer and after the layer is locked, I take out this spray paint brush that is this kind of like messy gradient looking spray paint and that adds this kind of human element to it. And I use the spray paints to add these gradients and shading to the image but it still keeps the shape intact because at no point in this painting am I using the spray paint brush in a way that is not attached to the shape of a quick shape tool beneath. So just having a very clear process of how you are creating every single element in the image and not deviating from that, that keeps this kind of consistency throughout. And for these lines on the hills, I use a clipping mask. So I set the hill itself as a clipping mask and then I drew the lines on top so that I don't have to match them with the shape beneath because the hill as a clipping mask automatically kind of masks them. And then after I drew the lines, I used the same lines for every other element in the image. So I didn't create them over and over for different parts. I just used transform tool and added them on top of the other hills. And then with the transform tool, I used the warp mode to bend the lines into the shape of the hill so that they look three dimensional and that they fit the area there. Transform tool is also really cool when you want to create uh, kind of these kind of vector looking lines, but the quick shape isn't uh, fine enough for that purpose always. Like for example, these foreground hills, they are not uh, exact ovals, but uh, hills were done. I took out the transform tool and then I used just the warp to create that kind of like little organic vibe to them that just makes them look more interesting and more fitting to this composition. And then after all of the other elements are done, then comes the fun part, which is the color adjustments. And that I do on a single layer because it's just easier. When I do the color adjustment, I always have a backup layers beneath. So that helps me to see that if I'm actually like making the image look better or if I'm just like destroying the color information underneath. Okay, I hope you learned something from this like really quick tutorial. I'm Mikko and I hope you to see you all in the next video. So hit subscribe and I'll be back in the next one. I don't know what that is yet. Okay, bye.